the VH1 Storyteller. Oh, 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 oh. We're going to start out with one me two times. We got Pat Monahan. Patrick, come on out here, man. Pat Monahan. two times, I was thinking about uh, the soldiers going out to Vietnam, right? And, you know, how long they would have to be without their girlfriends, you know? Therefore, love me two times, I'm going away. That's how that came about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just learned something. Yeah. 
Hey, I wanted to uh, I wanted to write a blues, and um, you know, whenever the Doors did a blues, we always tried to do something a little different, you know. So I stuck in what's called a circle of fifths, which is like. <laughs> Of course, I didn't know it was a circle of fifths at the time. <laughs> to me, it just sounded good, you know. <laughs> Later, I learned that. Anyway, uh, let me two times it was uh, one of Jim's favorites, and uh, we always love to play it. Next, what are we going to do next, guys? We're going to the whiskey bar. All right, this next piece, we're going to do uh, two songs together. These are by other people. These are some of our favorite composers. We're going to do the Whiskey Bar Alabama song. That's actually written not by the Doors. It's written by Bertolt Brecht and Kurt Weill. This is a 1928 German opera, except they weren't really operatic guys. They were like, it was rock opera. You know, it's Mahagoni, it's called. And it's about a fabled city of sin. And these are the people who uh, wander through the city of sin looking for the next whiskey bar, looking for the next little girl, looking for the next little dollar. That's right before World War II, right? Between the wars, 1928, Germany, 1928. This is in 1928, that great fecund period. And the way we came about this song is uh, my wife, Dorothy, had a, uh, a record of uh, Lottie Lenya and Bertolt Brecht stuff and uh, Kurt Weill, the uh, Three Penny Opera and three songs from this Mahagoni. And we used to listen to it all the time. And Morrison just fell in love with it. Show me the way to the next whiskey bar. I tell you, we must die. I think Jim, you know, found kindred spirits there in 1928 Germany. And uh, one day Dorothy said, you know, you guys listen to that all the time. You do other people's material. Why don't you do the whiskey bar? And I said, forget it, too hard. The chord changes are totally insane. Robbie, however, put his great ears on it and said, wait a minute, we don't have to do it like they do it on the record. Let's do a contemporary Doors version of it. So if Robbie hadn't come up with these chord changes, we wouldn't be doing this song. And we're going to follow it with a great Willie Dixon song, yeah. Backdoor Man. <laughs> I don't think I have to tell you too much about Backdoor Man, you know. You men eat your dinner, eat your pork and beans. I eat more chicken than any man ever seen. You know, that guy's sneaking around the back. And Willie Dixon, of course, we've got to get into Willie Dixon. He's one of the great American composers, wrote all kinds of great blues songs from Muddy Waters and everybody out of Chicago. So we're going to do uh, Whiskey Bar, Backdoor Man, singing it for us. Singing it for us, yes, indeed. Ian Asbury from the Cult. <laughs> All right, here. Yeah. 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 Yeah, dude. Oh.
Take care of any man I've ever seen. Why? 